Alright guys, you've got some documents to look over today that are going to show you how to do all this stuff, but I want to walk you through it too. So first off, to get to Unity, go to the bottom left and click on your finder, then go into Applications, and when you scroll all the way down, almost at the very bottom, you'll see a folder for Unity, and then just click on the Unity icon here, or double click I should say, and it will open up our launch window for Unity. Now you probably don't have any projects yet, so you'll click on New and you'll give that just a second. And here you'll see how to create a new project. So leave 3D selected because we're creating a 3D project. Uh, where you save it, it probably doesn't matter that much, but if you want it to be extra easy to find, you could move it to your desktop like I'm doing here. And for the name of your project, go ahead and rename it with your name. Not the words your name, but you know, type in your name and then space adventure because we're making a 3d adventure game if you've got all of those things done go ahead and click create project and this should just take a moment or two and we should have unity open here all right Here's Unity, and this is all new for most of you, so let's break it down. In the middle here, you've got your scene view. This is where you're actually going to be creating the game. On the left is the hierarchy. Here you can select any objects that exist in your scene. Down here we have our project folder where we keep all of our assets. All the things that go in our game are going to be stored there. And on the right, we've got what we want to be looking at is the inspector, so click on the inspector tab over there. This lets you look at all the details associated with any game object that you select. So like right now, I've got the camera selected and I can see its position in the scene. I can see any camera specific options. I can also add new components if I wanted to. Now also in your scene view here, you can take a look at how to look around and navigate your scene. So one easy way to start looking around is to click on this little icon in the top right and it will snap you to a side or top view in your scene. Now, if you look up at the top of your scene view, you'll see that there's tabs and you can actually change the view. So you can switch back and forth between the scene view where you create the game and the game view, which sort of shows you a preview of what your game camera is actually seeing. Now to teach you something that will help you stay organized inside of Unity. So down in our project window, there's a tab that says create and you can click on that or you could control click in this assets area over here that's pretty empty right now and go up to create, hover on that, then go up to folder and click on that. And now you've got an empty folder that's ready to be renamed. I'm going to call mine textures because soon we'll be getting a lot of different textures that we can apply to different game objects and it'll be good to have a place to organize those. But you can make more folders for anything whenever you need it. But now we're going to create our first game object by going up to the top menu and going to Game Object, 3D Object, and we'll start with a cube. So you'll see that highlighted in blue on the left, my cube pops up into the hierarchy and you can see it right there in the middle of the scene view. Now some basic controls, zooming in and out, you can do by using two fingers on the trackpad and moving them up or down. Rotating, you can control click or you can click the trackpad with two fingers and you see a little eye pop up instead of your cursor and that lets you rotate. And then you can also drag the entire scene around by going up to the top left and clicking on the hand tool and now you can grab and move the whole scene. So by being able to zoom in and out, move the scene and rotate around your objects, you should really be able to see everything you need to and it's important to rotate and move around a lot because in a 3D world, something that you create might look good from one angle and not so good from another angle. Now, if you ever get totally lost, like right now I can't see anything, if I go double click on my cube, it'll snap me right back to it and zoom me in on it. So if you ever get turned around or you just need to get to an object fast, find it in the hierarchy on the left, that's your list of objects, double click on it and it will take you right to it in the scene view. But now I want you to start experimenting with your tools a little bit. So the first one, next to the hand tool, which we've already talked about, to the right of that is the move tool. Now, if you grab the move tool and then grab an object from the middle, it can be kind of hard to control it and get it to do what you want, which is why I highly recommend that more often than not, you use the arrows instead of just grabbing it from the middle. 
The arrows will let you move it only forwards or backwards, or left or right, or up or down, but not all three at the same time, which lets you understand where you're moving it a lot better. The next tool to the right of the move tool is the rotate tool. And similarly, if you take this tool and then you grab an object just from the middle, it's gonna be really hard to control. But now I'm grabbing it from just one of these colored rings and I can rotate it in just a single axis instead of all over the place. So this gives me a lot more control and this is usually how you're going to want to interact. Now keep in mind, there's more than one way to move, rotate, or even scale anything. We'll get to scaling in a second. But let's say I want to rotate this on a precise angle. Instead of eyeballing it and doing it by hand, I can go over to the transform component in the inspector and I can type in 90 degrees to rotate it 90 degrees or 45 degrees to rotate it on a 45 degree angle. Next though is our scale tool, which is to the right of rotate. And with this tool, you can scale an object. You can scale it equally by grabbing it in the middle and it will simply grow equally in all directions. Or you can grab one of the colored blocks on the end and you can grow it in a specific direction. Whether that's to be wider or skinnier or taller or longer, whatever you need it to be. There is more than one way to scale even beyond using the inspector and the transform, we can also move over to the rect tool, which is to the right of your scale tool, and that will allow you to scale it instead of equally in one direction or another or all directions, you can scale it sort of from one side. So when you're designing a room or trying to change the height or length of a wall, this is really useful. So that way you don't have to scale the whole object and then move it around. You can just sort of scale it from one side and make an object get a little bit narrower or taller or whatever you need without changing each side completely equally. All right, that's really just about it for this video. But one really important thing to know, best tip I can give you is Command-Z is undo, so it's hard to make mistakes right now since we're just experimenting, but if you did something you'd rather wish you hadn't, just Command-Z and that will undo. And you can spam that and undo a whole bunch of stuff if you need to. But even more important than knowing how to undo a mistake is just saving your work. So be sure to go to File and Save Scenes. Save Project is different, so go to Save Scenes. The first time you do this, you'll need to give your scene a name. You don't need to worry too much about what the name of this scene is. You can just call it my first scene or test level, whatever you want, but do save it, give it a name. Once you've given it a name, you can just go file, save scenes. You don't need to rename it, uh, or you could just hit command S and that should save nice and quick. Better to save more often than not often enough. So save all the time, don't lose any progress, and you'll be happy you did. So open up Unity, try this out for yourself, just practice your controls and get comfortable with everything that I've shown you today, and don't forget to go back into Schoology and respond to the comments because that's how you're going to get some credit for the work you've done here today. Alright, good luck!